What's good? I'm Xavier from The Extra Trainer. This is going to be part six in my series of how I overcome sales objections as a personal trainer. And today we're going to talk about a lack of urgency. So a lack of urgency is an objection and it's used in a multitude of different ways. So when people don't have an urgency for a trainer, they're going to say, oh, they can't do it because of time. They can't do it because of money. I got to talk to my spouse, different things like that. You always want to make sure that when you're doing your sales consultation, that you're gathering as much information from them as possible. So that you can negate whatever objection they're going to throw your way. So if somebody says, hey, I work all week, blah, 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 ask how are they able to come in today? So when you ask them how are they able to come in today, they might be, oh, my mom's watching the kids. or Oh, my husband has the kids. Or, you know what I'm saying? They might say, hey, my schedule is not as busy. I do work every day, but I do have time to come to the gym. From there, you can figure out how many times they're able to come to the gym. Because when you're asking these questions prior to sitting down and going over your pricing, Nine times out of 10, you're going to get more honest answers because most of the time you'll find that they might somewhat agree to something while you're working out with them or casually mention some things while you're training them. But when you sit down and go over sales, everybody gets tense. They get anxiety because everybody views anybody who sells anything as scum. But at the same time, Apple and McDonald's and all these other major companies can shove a thousand ads in their face every day and they have no problem with it. So gather as much information as you can. On the floor, when people say they don't have time, figure out what quantifies them not having enough time. There are 168 hours in a week, so there are plenty, there's plenty of time unless you have other clients at that time or there's a time that's outside of your training schedule. There's plenty of time to get in the gym. When people say they have to talk to their spouse, when people mention that they are married, they're in long-term relationships, they're engaged or whatever, I always just ask people if they're in a position when we're training to make financial decisions, if they say yes or if they say no, I'll inquire more and you got to do it in a tasteful and respectful manner. And I'll break that down in a separate video um, down the line. But you pretty much just want to try to get as much intricate information as you can in as nonchalant of a manner as you can. So then when you're going over the subject, you can say, hey, well, you said this over there. So, you know, is there something different or a different reason that you can't do it today? Uh, another thing is uh, money. So a lot of times I talk to people, I ask them what kind of jobs they have how long they've been in the industry, the different things they do. When you do your sales consultation, um, ideally you're figuring out what their routine is. So like what time they go to work, what they're eating. And eating is the big thing for me because if they say, hey, I stop at Starbucks every day in the morning and then I go to Wendy's for lunch. And then for dinner, I'm stopping at Pizza Hut. You automatically know that when they're training with you, you're going to be nine times out of 10 giving them a meal plan. And even if you're not, they are ideally changing their diet on their own because they're trying to be healthier. That's going to free up a lot of money there because I said, if you're spending $8 at Starbucks every day, seven days out the week is $56. So at the end of the month, you're easily spending over $200 on something that could be allocated towards training. So you need to, you could theoretically modify what you're eating at Starbucks or because I'm going to be giving you high energy protein shake recipes that you can make at home. That's going to be something else that's going to mitigate that expense as well. And in addition to having a meal plan for lunch and other various things that they're spending their money on most of the time those unhealthy habits are things that they have to change anyway so outside of that uh, in terms of urgency you got to keep in mind that sometimes people are reluctantly coming in to the gym and it could be for a number of different things divorces bring people into the gym so they're not happy about being there breakups bring people to the gym so they're not happy with being there their family members might have said something about their weight their spouse might have said something about their weight or appearance so that's something else that's going to bring them in. They might be having trouble dating. They might feel like I don't have confidence because I'm not in shape. And they're going to be resentful. They're going to have anxieties and frustrations, not because you personally did anything to them, but because somebody else in the outside world did something to them. So you have to let them know that you're here to be a support system and to help them accomplish their goals. And the only way you can do it is by training. Because a lot of times people say, hey, I need to go home and think about it. And I'm always honest with people. If I have my schedule will open. I'll show them my other consultations and I'll show them that other people are willing to train at that time. And I'm not making it up because even if let's say you're not busy, you're a new trainer and you're not busy whatsoever, you can only work a certain amount of hours in a day. And I had this happen to me. I'll still have it happen to me to this day. I wouldn't say in the past, but this is the current thing that I'm having. I'll tell people that, Hey, somebody else wants that time. And especially if it's a prime time, but what I consider prime times is from five in the morning to nine in the morning 
and in the evening time from as early as three to as late as nine those are times people want to come in because people want to come in before their kids are up or after their kids get out of school people want to come in before work or after work and you know it's just a number of different reasons why those times are prime times because those times are usually easier for most people to get in usually in the day space of time like that's when you're going to have older clients like training at 12 in the afternoon is going to be people on their lunch break retired people people who are on unemployment or people who have jobs where they really don't have to they might work the night shift or they can control their schedule so they can come in and train when they want to and all let people know like it was a prime time slot that i have open at nine times out of ten if you really do want to train and you really have to check your budget or you really have to do other things when you come back somebody else might have that time so you're going to have to pick another time and I, the reason i do that is because nine times out of ten you can save the sell and then you can have somebody in that time stop because what happens is let's say i talked to miss smith last week i told her hey 5 a.m monday wednesday friday that's the time that recently just opened up and it's one of my most popular times that people want to come in and train because it's hard to get trainers to come in and train at that time because any trainers in the gym at 5 a.m if they're not working with a client or doing a group class they're probably training themselves so that they can have the rest of the day to work with their clients and they're not trying to pick up any additional clients so let's say i explain that to her that time is open she thinks she has all the time in the world to pick that time and two or three days after I train her, somebody else booked that time and they have that time booked for the next six months. Uh, most of the time, Mr. Smith was mad at me. People said mean text because they didn't pick the time that was open when it was open, even though they had the means to uh, pick that time. So it's always important to establish a sense of urgency, especially if you're a new trainer and you're offering the discount or a sale to get people in. With me personally, if I offer a sale, Whenever I offer that sale, that price is as good for as long as you train with me. If you, for whatever reason, cancel your training, I don't charge fees for canceling training. It's a pay as you go. As long as you give me a notice, you can go whenever you want. However, the caveat is you cannot get that sale price anymore. When you come back, you have to pay whatever my current price is. And a lot of times people will get mad about that. So in terms of urgency, you always want to let people know that you're serious about the things that you're saying and that you're really, it's not about getting the money. It's about me setting up my schedule so that it's convenient for me and me being honest with you about if you don't make this purchase today what could occur down the line because if you do not uh vocalize or be vocal about the fact that hey this sale is only temporary people actually want these times then what's going to happen is when people come back two weeks later and the price is higher and you say that was a sale they're going to say oh yeah right because they're going to assume that you're just being resentful because they didn't sign up at that point in time and they're just going to think that you're unnecessarily giving them a hard time. If you say, hey, oh, no, somebody actually wanted to train at 5 a.m., they're going to look at you like, oh, you're lying because you told me it was open two weeks ago. And it's like they're not taking into account the fact that other people actually want to train at that time. And it is a viable time for people to come in because their kids are asleep or it's before work and they can come to the gym, work out, go home, shower, eat something, maybe take a little nap before they go to work. They don't realize that those are all factors that the same factors they consider, they don't realize that other people consider as well. They think they're unique in that line of thinking. So in terms of urgency, you all want to make sure that you're not being malicious or manipulative with the way you set urgency. You always want to keep it the truth, because even if you are a new trainer and those times are open and they're prime times, it is a prime time all across America. It doesn't change. Those times are always going to be popular times. You have to let them know that the likelihood of this time being available in the future is slim because other people are likely to pick this time and that's all i want to touch on in this video if you want me to touch on any more sales objections make sure you guys comment below or if you want any more videos pertaining to whatever topic make sure you comment below i'm xavier from dx the trainer and i'm out